Hey everyone, uh, my name is Marcus Castro. I'm based in Dublin, Ireland, and I work as a product manager for Microsoft Teams. And my team works closely with customers and partners developing applications inside Teams so it can be pro dev or power apps as well. And this year we started working a lot uh, with our customers developing power apps and Teams and seeing what they have built so far. And we were seeing that they were having a lot of power apps just, you know, added as a tab or as a personal app, but not using the full Teams capabilities, as, as we say. So, yeah, based on that, uh, we shared with the partners our feedback and they asked us to develop maybe a sample application that we could share and show all, the, all, all we could do about integrating power apps and Teams. And that's what I did. And I'm going to show, show you today. So I'm going to share my screen now. Can you see it? Yes, we can see the screen. Yeah. Yeah. OK. So yeah, basically, we developed this incidents application. So as you can see, it's a power app, and it's installed as a tab in a team. So we have the incidents team with multiple channels here, right? So we have the health and safety, the HR channel, supply chain. And that's basically mapped to the categories that we have for each incident. So we have three categories and we have three different channels. And if you see here, each category we have associated a group ID with the team ID and a channel ID. So as soon as I create a new incident, an adapt card is going to be posted here uh, to that channel so people can you know, have a conversation and, and resolve that incident. And I'm going to actually show here my mobile just to show you that this worked very well on mobile as well. So it's responsive and yeah. So I'm going to create a new instant and I'm going to use my camera for that. So new mobile instant description. And it's a health and safety instant, a medium priority. I will leave the other blank. And I'm going to take a picture. That's a hazard. I'm going to maybe add some notes here. And I'm done. OK, as I selected to be a health and safety incident, you will see that a power automate flow will be triggered. And it's going to post an adapt card here uh, to the health and safety channel. So the people from this channel can have a conversation, a contextual conversation, and you know, get that incident resolved. So if you can see here, these are tests that I were doing. And basically it has all the, the most important information about that incident so people can have a discussion. So for example, if I were, yeah, just got it here. So, you know, I can tag people. So maybe Alex. Oh, actually, I'm used. I'm logging as Alex here. So, actually, system administrator, can you have a look? So, no, by posting this adapt card here in a channel, we already have you know all the people that's responsible for that category of incident. So, just make them aware there is a new incident. They can chat about that. They can have a discussion, like a contextual discussion about that incident. And we also provide here some quick actions. I can click view details, and that basically is a deep link back to my app. So with one click, I straight away open my app straight away on that specific incident. So just save user time. And I can see all the details. And maybe we had a discussion here and we decided, OK, this should be Alex. Alex should be responsible to taking care of that uh, with one click we can click to assign that instant. And this again, basically calls another Power Automate flow that's gonna save that and it's gonna update my card. And for doing that, we are using the new trigger as when someone responds to an adapt card. So there's no flow waiting there and anybody can really click this button and, and we do this update. So this is just showing, you know, things that we can do and integrating your power apps with Teams, you know, using the Teams structure, the channel structure, having conversation about specific items. In my case here is incidents, but it could be uh, a lot more. Other things that we develop and we really recommend is like a share functionality. So let's say, okay, it's a health and safety instant, but we need input from the legal team. 
So I could share with someone, I could uh, yeah, let's set myself here. And this again is going to post an adapt card to that person with the same things like uh, I can assign the instant to me or I can just click to view the details and that opens that back uh, straight away on that specific instance. I could also start a chat straight away with the person who shared that with me. And I will test this one because these were shared by the system administrator. So using deep links, you can straight away start a chat with, with that person. Really cool. All right, so this is just examples of things that you can do uh, by integrating Power Apps and Teams. And I'm going to actually show a little bit of how I did that. Uh, so yeah, I'm basically using SharePoint as a database for, for this one. And you can see I have two lists. I can I have the incident categories. And here I have the team ID and the channel ID. And that's basically used to send adapt cards when a new item is created based on that category. I send that. It's, it's just that. And then you have the, the instance list where I store all, all the instance. Okay, I think that that's the demo, but I'm just going to show some slides here. And I'm going to share this with you, but basically here I have some links that you can use uh, to go deeper on the implementation phase. Uh, how can you really go deeper on that? So, but yeah, this is just the idea that I want to share with you. So yeah, for example, how I automatically Low. Oh yeah, I forgot to show this. So another thing that I did is if I open here the same application on the health and safety channels, by default, it shows only the health and safety instance. And if I open in the supply chain channel, by default, it shows only the supply chain instance. So that shows that this app is actually context aware. So when the app loads, I automatically identify, okay, is this app running as a standalone app or is this app running as a personal app or in a team? And if it is in a team, I can do something about it, right? I can filter the instance to show only important information for the user, which is what I'm, I'm doing here in this case. And to do that, basically on the app start of, of my app, I just have some, some functions here to get the parameters of the group ID, the channel ID, even the user team. So if the user is using the dark team or, or the, uh, uh, the default team, so I can adapt my app using that. And yeah, basically I just use then the group ID and the channel ID to filter the information or by default when the user loads the app. Uh, to implement the deep link, I have again here a video on YouTube from April Dunning how to implement that. But basically, again, on your app load, you just query for the sub entity. And based on that, I, I just show my modal, or in other cases, you could uh, redirect the user to a different page as well. And that's what I do here. And to do the share functionality, Basically, it's a Power Automate flow that's triggered when the Power Apps uh, button is clicked, and I just get all the details of the instant, and I form a deep link like this, having the app ID and the ID of the instant, which is a sub ID. Yeah, here is just showing the the deep link, and here is showing the assignment. To me, which is that flow that's triggered when someone responds to that card. And this is just going back on the presentation that Stuart uh, did last week. If you didn't see, I, I really recommend doing. But it's really identifying which scenarios make sense to, to embed your power app in Teams, like how you can benefit from the Teams feature, right? So if, if it's there, if it is uh, something that a group has to come together to take decisions, to solve problems, it really makes sense to use this kind of approach of having teams or channels and you know posting adapt cards so people can have that 
contextual conversation about something and get work done, get something done. Right? So consider as well this share functionality, like how you can bring others to the table to, to have those discussions and you know make more people aware of, of something. This really helps uh, you know increase the usage and, and solve problems faster. And yeah, I think that's it for me. This application we are gonna to upload to the samples, to the Power Apps samples for the community. Uh, just finalizing, I had some issues with the Power, with the PowerShell template to create the automatic the SharePoint list, but that should be resolved. And yeah, you will, you can always download there and let me know if you find any issues. Great demo, Marcus. I don't think there's any questions as much as there's a strong debate that have, was, we were happening in the sidelines about when you said using SharePoint as a database. So um, if oh, yeah. it, maybe yeah. that's a clarifying question as why is you went that, that route. Sucks. Is it a, is a, is it a reason? Is it a cost reason? Was it just an ease of demo reason? Um, you know, maybe speak to that a little bit. Yeah, so I choose SharePoint just because we wanted to share that with as many customers as possible. And as you know, some customers have premium licenses, some customers customer doesn't have. So SharePoint was just easier to make, you know, a broader num number of customers to, to show that. Uh, so some customers doesn't use database that doesn't have experience with that. And I think much more customers have experience with SharePoint. So that's why we chose that for this. Because, you know, it's just a simple application. Uh, and yeah, the goal was really to present to as many as many customers as possible. Totally fair. So we Thank didn't you. use any premium connectors as well. Uh, it's all, you know, free and included on, on our E3 or E5 license. Mm -hmm. So consideration for licenses, consideration for ease of use, and considerations for availability, um, not something yeah. that you probably would, you know, recommend to, you know, as a, if, you know, we have to have consideration for the amount of items that you store on a list because certainly it's not a relational database management system, and you will hit into port perf issues. But to talk about the, the concept and um, to get it out there is, um, you know, is a good approach. Thanks, Marcus. <laughs>